malware, hacking, social engineering. These are some of the threats associated with computing today. You're the first line of defense for protecting your computer and your organization from these threats. So don't be dirty, don't be reckless, and don't be fooled. Don't be dirty. Keep your computer clean. Update your system software, use security software, and be careful what you download. One of the most important steps you can take is to keep your software up to date. So configure your computer to update the system software automatically. Keep your applications up to date, especially web browsers and PDF viewers. And don't forget about browser plugins like Flash and Java. They need to be updated regularly too. Keeping your software up to date will make it harder for hackers to break into your computer. Millions of computers in the U.S. are infected with malware. The best thing you can do to protect your computer and your organization is to install security software from a reliable company and keep it up to date. Ideally, the security software will be a combination of antivirus, anti-spyware, and a firewall. Some good examples are Microsoft Security Essentials for Windows and Endigo's Internet Security for Mac. Only download software from websites that you know and trust. Installing free games, screensavers, toolbars, and other software can infect your system with malware. Make sure that you're following your organization's policies about installing software on your work computer. Don't be reckless. Stay safe with strong passwords and secure Wi-Fi. Hackers use software that can guess weak passwords. For example, a password using only six characters, even with a mixture of case and symbols, can be hacked in as little as two and a half minutes. Let's see if you can tell a strong password from a weak one. Your organization may have a specific password policy, but in general, make sure that your password is eight characters or longer, uses a combination of upper and lower case letters with numbers and symbols, doesn't use dictionary words, and doesn't use personal info like your birthday or your kids' names. Passwords shouldn't use words with numbers appended, simple replacement characters, doubled words, or easy keyboard sequences. And this one is very important. Passwords should only be used once per site or service. If a hacker steals your password from one place, you certainly don't want them to be able to use it in another. Unfortunately, most free Wi-Fi hotspots are not secure, so if you're going to be accessing sensitive information like email, bank accounts, or your organization's network, be sure that your data is encrypted. For example, imagine you're at a coffee shop and trying to connect to Wi-Fi. You see two options in your list of available networks. Which should you choose? Here's how you tell if your data is being encrypted. Only Wi-Fi networks that ask you for your password use encryption. Only websites that use HTTPS at the beginning of their address use encryption. If you use VPN software to connect to your organization's network, then all of your network data is encrypted. Don't be fooled. Be careful with links and emails and who you trust on the phone. Don't click on any links or open any attachments and emails unless you know who sent it and what it is. Clicking on links and opening attachments, even in emails that seem to be from friends or family, can install malware on your computer. Resist buying software in response to unexpected pop-up messages or emails, especially ads that claim to have scanned your computer and detected malware. That's a tactic scammers actually use to spread malware. Be careful who you trust on the phone. Consider this scenario. So be careful who you trust on the phone and keep these tips in mind. Don't rely on caller ID alone to authenticate a caller. Caller ID can be faked. Never give out your password over the phone. No legitimate organization would call you and ask for a password. Don't give control of your computer to a third party who calls you unexpectedly. Cybersecurity is important for you and your organization. Thanks for your help, and remember, don't be dirty, don't be reckless, and don't be fooled.